Hi everyone, welcome to our first, I think I'm going to call these creative hangouts, but I'm not sure. Well, we're going to say creative hangout and it's going to be about 15 minutes where we are going to not answer the phone, not have to make cook, clean or tidy anything, not have to answer kids, just literally our 15 minutes roughly um, to just create. So whatever it is you create, whether it's art whether you're an illustrator whether you want to edit photographs whether you whatever it is you do i want you now to go and gather your supplies and come back and i'm going to paint an abstract landscape i'm going to show you all the stuff i'm going to use and then we are going to take 15 minutes of peace and quiet where we are going to create whatever it is we want to create in those 15 minutes now i would love if you create these whatever it is you do that you would share them to your social media and put a hashtag in creative hangout and see can we see each other's whatever it is we share so i can't wait to get started so here's what i'm using so i have a c white concertina sketchbook so it opens like this um and it is for the papers mixed media so it's quite heavy these are ones i've already done and this is one I like to do my landscapes in. The other thing I have is tape. We're going to tape the edges. I have picked a selection of Neo Color 2 pastels. And they're all kind of complementing each other's colors. I also have a few Rembrandt chalk pastels. And I know you're probably saying, oh, don't mix them all together but I like to just mix everything together. So I have a few, they're same, close in color to those guys. And then I have a blue. I have also different paints. I have a Prussian blue. I have a azure blue. I have a lemon yellow that I might use. I have a cadmium orange I might use. I have a green, pale olive green and white loads and loads of white so this is what we are going to use to make our abstract landscape now you can use the same stuff if you want if you want to use the same as me you can and next week because this is our first one i know it's a little bit hard and it'll take a little bit of settling into videos but um the first thing i like to do is tape my edges because I always think it looks kind of finished when you can pull off the tape at the end. It's also my favourite bit, if the truth be known, it's actually my favourite bit of painting, is to pull off the tape at the end. Now, if you have a tape that tears your paper, the trick is stick it on your clothes a few times and pull it off and it actually takes the stick off your tape. And it doesn't tear as much. Some of them are desperate. Some of them actually tear lumps out of your paper, which is really annoying. So now, when we have it taped off, we're going to get started. Now, you probably noticed and went, Elaine, you've no brushes. But no, I'm no brushes. And what I'm going to actually do is, I'm going to mostly use my non-dominant hand. So I'm right-handed, but I'm going to use my left hand mostly for this. And I'm going to only use my fingers. The thing I do is I use my Neo colors and I literally think about top of the painting, bottom of the painting, sky, and I literally ooh, scribble. Just whatever way, whatever notion takes me. I try not to think too much about the shape it's going to be and I just let whatever way feels good I just let it flow I like the dark in the middle I think we'll have a cross sky today It really doesn't matter this sometimes people think you have to be really exact and 
where is uh, all the different colors going and where does my sky go and where does which you can that's fine but sometimes it's nice to scribble like you're four years old you know and just let the colors take you more than um where they should actually be on a painting I love orange. It's one of my favorites. One of my favorites. I love a little bit just to add a bit of color to it. Also, this color reminds me of Kerry because Kerry has a load of rhododendrons and all the mountains, even though they're gray, you will see like splashes of this kind of a magenta purple color. And it's just amazing as you're driving around. So now the fun bit, I better pull up my sleeves so I don't get paint everywhere. So to start my sky, I like to use a dark blue. So we're going to use Prussian blue. And you see, I'm going to use my left hand for this one. And we're going to just roughly, I feel like the sky should be dark there this time. And dab it on. And the same again, you can't really, really be too particular. And it's actually quite nice to paint with your fingers. It reminds me of when I used to teach Montessori and the kids would be up to their ears in paint. I'd go, oh my God, look at just the mess. But it's, it's actually quite nice. So we get some tissue, just clean my finger. And now we get some white. And even out of the tube, I'm quite um, lazy. I, quite, I like to just stick it all on. And sometimes in these, I will leave um, scribbles in the background looking through. Because sure, why not? There is no reason really I can't. I also at times like to scratch back into my painting, which you'll see, and like that. I don't have any fancy tools for that. I use just a plain old, you know, a kid's little small ruler or a palette knife sometimes. So this is going to be our sky. I think I'm going to leave those lines looking out today. So now, most of my landscapes are mountains because I live in Wicklow and we have some amazing mountains in the area. And for my mountains, I like to use the same again, the same dark blue. And just roughly the shape. I think today we're going to go. This way. No. Sometimes I cover up everything that's underneath. As you can see, I'm covering up the colors here, but we'll put them back in as we go. This is more to get the lines of where you want to be. My mountains are dark today. Must have been. Maybe because it's a miserable grey May. And it really is horrible. I think we'll use a little bit of light blue. Just to see where will we put it. Maybe a bit in here. So really, you can put colors anywhere. And I know they're not landscape colors at all, not even remotely. But 
that's the great thing about art it really doesn't matter a bit of this green but I also find using your non-dominant hand you tend to be less exact so with your dominant hand you know where the marks are and you have a little bit better control whereas your non-dominant hand well I find I have very little control I am literally nearly lost sometimes it doesn't its own thing now also this time of the year we have gorgeous fir bushes I'm not actually sure what the official name of them are they're yellow we call them fir bushes and there's lovely splashes of yellow everywhere so i put in a little bit little bits of yellow Now, next week, we're hoping to do these weekly. Well, I'm hoping to do these weekly. Um, so next week, if you want, you can paint along with me if you want to get supplies like this. I will more than likely be, it'll be mostly landscapes I will be doing. Um, and you are more than welcome to join along. Now, I'd really love some pink. Maybe we'll put in a bit of pink, a bit more pink. Scratch into that a little bit. Maybe a bit up here. And I want to get this orange back. Just I like it looking out a little bit. Now, where did I put my ruler? That's the one thing about a clear, oh, I have it, clear ruler. It just kind of disappears on you. So we're going to mark the edge of our mountain. Let's scratch it in. And you can see sometimes the other colors peep out from underneath. Just barely looking out. You can see the pink look out there. Now, let me see. We need something here. Let's see, where's my chalk? I love these Rembrandt pastels. They're not scratchy. Some chalk pastels are really scratchy on the paper and they make a funny noise that makes your teeth feel funny in your head. But these don't. These are really nice. Just a little bit of green on there. Now, as you can see, I am mixing everything on this. So we have water soluble neo color. We have chalk, we have paint, all mashed together. It's fine. It's fine. Now, do I want something in the sky? Maybe a bit more here. Here. Now, I think we're fairly good, or I'm happy. That's enough. That was my creative doodle for today. So now my favorite part, I have to make sure my hands are clean. If not, I leave marks on my nice edges. So we'll tear it off slowly and see what we have. And you can see, I don't know if you can see it on the camera now, but I didn't put the tape on my jumper first and it is actually lifting my paper. 
slightly, but it's okay because it's in a sketchbook. And it's only for us to see, nobody else. So I pull it off nice and slowly. This is my favorite bit of the painting. And it makes such a difference to your painting to have the edges white. It nearly gives it the impression that it's framed or it gives you a visual idea of what it'd look like if you framed it. And the only thing I would find with this sea white paper is it is more inclined to tear with tape. And I normally use watercolor paper all the time. I use watercolor for everything. Um, because I love it, love watercolor paper. Now we're nearly there. How are you guys getting on with your creative time? I don't even know how long we are yet, but it's our first one. We'll have it honed to perfection for the next one, won't we? So like I said, I'm hoping to do these weekly, every Wednesday. There'll be a creative hangout, 15 minutes of peace and quiet away from whatever job it is or whatever chaos and you can create anything you don't have to do these you can just take the time sit while we create and enjoy the few minutes peace because i know it's hard at times to get peace but there we are our finished first creative hangout landscape it's not too bad so it's not well i hope you enjoyed it I hope whatever you created, you enjoyed. I hope you enjoyed the piece. And we will do it all again next Wednesday. Don't forget to subscribe if you want to be reminded of the creative hangouts. See you next Wednesday.